Think you've got a Sigma lens that either front focuses or back focuses, or you just want to try and get the best possible picture from that lens? Well, stay tuned because I've got the perfect solution coming for you right up. So there's a few things that I'm gonna need you to do first. Firstly, you need to buy the USB dock. Now you can either buy this from a Sigma dealer or places like Amazon. The next thing I need you to do is go and download the Sigma software. Now you can find the link below, or if you're quick enough, it's just across there. Now, when you order your USB dock, make sure you get it for the right camera that you've got. Mine's for a Canon because I shoot with Canon. Now you can also get Nikon, Pentax, Sony, etc. etc. So make sure you get the right USB adapter for your camera. Now when your USB docking station arrives, it should come in a box like this. And it'll have the make that's on the front. Now in the box, when you open it up, you'll get your USB docking station, your USB lead, and warranty and some instructions, etc. So, now you've got your USB dock, and you've also got your downloaded software, I'm gonna go through, show you on my laptop, how I finely tuned my Sigma lens to get the perfect photo. So let's get started. So before we go in and start setting up the lens on the computer, I just want to show you how I set my camera and my lens up so I can then measure the distances for the focal length and to get the right adjustments. So as you can see, I've got my camera and my lens set up on the tripod. And what I'll show you is just below, I've got a 30 meter tape measure which runs the length of my garden. Now, the reason for that is so then what we can do is at each focal length, like from 150, we'll start, we'll take a selection of photographs at 2.6 meters, six meters, 11 meters, 15, and then 30. And then what we'll do is we'll do a shot from infinity. So we'll go beyond 30 meters and then take another photograph there. Now we need to take a photograph from every single focal length. So start at 150, take your series of photographs, then go to your 180, then 200, 250, 300, 400, 500, and then 600. And then what you can do is you can look on the back of your camera to see exactly where your camera's focused. So if you're bang on uh, where you've taken your photo, you don't need to adjust uh, on the Sigma docking app. If it's back focusing, then obviously you need to bring it either down a couple or five or maybe even 20. And then if it's obviously front focusing, then you need to add. So I've already taken my photos and I've adjusted my lens. So I just wanted to quickly show you before we go into the app, exactly how to set your, your lens and your camera up. So let's go into the app. Now at the moment, I've not connected up the lens to the USB dock. So I'm just gonna about to do that now. And you'll see the first thing will happen is that it will start checking the firmware on the lens. So, plug that in. There you go, checking the latest firmware of the lens. And it should be up to date. Um, reading the current settings, because obviously I've already set mine up. Right, so everything's up to date. It's to recognize that I'm using the 150-600 sport lens and that it's on a Canon EF mount. So. We know the firmware is up, up, is up to date, but if yours is not, all you need to do is press the firmware tab, that will update the firmware, and then it'll bring you back to this screen. So what we wanna do is customize our lens. So click the customization tab, and you'll see you've got three tabs which pop up. First one's focus setting, second one is full-time MF setting, and the third one is customization mode setting. So we're gonna go into the focus setting first. Now, I've already set my lens up, so obviously my table's filled in. Yours should say zero all across it. 
So the way to set it up is once you've taken your series of photographs, so you've gone from 150 mil and you've done it at 2.6 meters, 6 meters, 15 meters, and then 30 meters and maybe infinity, um, you should know whether you need to either adjust it for back focusing or front focusing. So my particular one was back focusing quite badly. So if you click on the tab between the 150 and the 2.6, you'll see then that this bit comes into play and this is where you adjust your settings. Now, mine was minus 19. What I done first of all was I set it in 5% increments, so I went minus five, that wasn't good enough, minus 10, that wasn't good enough, minus 15, and then I got minus 20 and it was just a, just a tad over, so I just done the minus 19. So what you need to do is you need to set this according to whether you're back focusing or front focusing. Obviously, if you're front focusing, then you need to do, do it as a plus. Uh, if it's back focusing, you need to do it as a minus. Now, mine, uh, again, at 150 at six meters, that was back focusing quite badly, so I went down to minus 16. And then at 15 meters, it was minus 11. And then infinity, which was minus 17. Then it, it wasn't so bad at 250. Um, at 2.6 meters and mine was only a minus six but then again as it started getting further away at six meters 15 meters and then infinity it sort of crept back up again but then when we got to 400 meters uh, sorry 400 mil it, it changed it was front focusing really badly so I had to then do a plus 20 which is the maximum just to get it to go in focus spot on and then it, it, it it changed at six meters it went back to a minus so it was minus seven at, at six and at eleven and then minus fifteen at infinity and then at six hundred mil it was all plus nineteen plus two plus seven and plus ten now you're going to have to sit there go with five first minus it by five or plus it by five go back outside take another photo if it's still front focusing Add another five if it's back focusing minus another five until you get that sweet spot obviously only you will know that because it's your lens your camera and you're actually doing the setting up once you're happy with it you have to press rewrite now the rewrite button this is what's going to save all your settings so don't forget to press rewrite in actual fact press rewrite after you change every single tab and then that way you know that your settings are going to be completely safely stored so press that rewrite button once you're happy and your camera is now focusing brilliantly you can press return and it'll bring you back to that menu now full-time mf menu mine's turned on and it's set to four i've left it at that that's what it was set to i'm not going to touch that so if you do need to touch it press rewrite to save it and then press return now customization modes that i spoke about earlier so if you click the tab, you've got C1 and C2 mode. Now, I've set my C1 up for sports photography. So, or anything that sort of moves quite erratically um, during me uh, doing the photo shoot. So if I need to focus quickly on something, um, I've set my C1 up for that. So if I click into C1, you'll see another free menus pop up another free tab so if we go on to the AF speed setting first of all you can see I've set mine to fast autofocus priority now this means basically it prioritizes the autofocus speed to reach the focus point as quickly as possible hence why I've set it up for sports photography now if you press OK don't forget once you've saved that press rewrite focus limiter setting I've set that to infinity or full on I should say um, because I can change that in the lens if I do need to change the uh, focus limiter setting. And then the optimized stabilization setting, I've set that for moderate view. Now the moderate view is um, that mode offers excellent compensation of camera shake and achieves very smooth transition of the image in the viewfinder. The composition of the image remains natural even when the angle of view keeps changing, hence sports photography. So that's what I've got mine set up for. Now, obviously, you can set yours up to whatever you like. 
there are other modes and it's what you need to do with this whatever you want to set your modes up for for a particular type of photography go through the settings and see which one works best for you now I'm just going to go return C2 now I've set my C2 up for video because every now and again I might be out and think oh I'm going to catch that on video flick my switch over to video and I want to know that my camera and my lens is set up for taking a video so I've set my AF speed to smooth autofocus priority which is ideal for video use so that prioritizes smooth autofocusing offering a slightly slower but very smooth autofocus um, so if I'm shooting video and I want to do the transition between the focusing that's the one to go for uh, my focus limiter again I've set that to full because I don't need to change that and then my OS setting I've used dynamic mode now this mode offers a recognizable OS effect to the image in the viewfinder this helps to ensure the compensation of images quickly now I have found that this is ideal for shooting video with the autofocus setting um, so that's why mine is set up to that again you can set yours up to whatever you like and um, it depends what you're photographing if you're going to do any videos on your DSLR um, and that's the best option for me so if we press OK return return again it brings us back to that same menu at the front now you can reset all but what's the point in resetting everything after you've just done it so be careful not to press reset all so and up in the top left screen you see you've got a help now with this if you go to Sigma Optimization Pro help it will open up another screen where you've got the full user guide and the manual for your USB docking station so that's there if you need it um, but once you start playing about with it to be honest you, you probably won't need to use this ever again so once you're done you're happy with your lens don't forget click rewrite to save everything and that is pretty much it it's a very simple process you can change things if you're out in the field and you're taking another photograph and you think you know it's still not auto focusing um, correctly at the you know the correct point you can then bring it back change it save it and off you go and it doesn't affect any of your other settings so that's about it so I'll see you back in the studio so don't forget subscribe to our YouTube channel you can follow us on YouTube Twitter Instagram and don't forget to check out the website www.jeevestriedthis.com thanks for watching and I'll see you soon